Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting video. Today we are taking a look at the new updated drawing canvas by Mr. Lennon. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to start off with all the options off. And I'm going to try to go through everything this time because there's a lot of updates and there's a lot of things that kind of got tweaked and are better. So we're just going to go ahead and come over here to the right. We're just going to turn off all of these and then we're going to talk about each one. Okay. And, uh, we're gonna start with a nice blank screen here. Well, mostly blank, there's stuff on the right here. And uh, I just made a dot. First, what we're gonna go through is the top left here. And this is going to be the main thing that you're gonna start with. It's gonna start by default with the grid on. And so we can turn it on and we can turn it off. And that allows you to kind of see where you're placing a pixel. So if we turn it off, you'll see, of course, there's no pixel. The next option we have is the screen size. And we can go down here and for some reason, I don't know if it's a bug, but in Firefox, at least, I didn't try it on the other browsers, I can't change the screen. Uh, so let's see if it's related to that. Nope, it's just a thing. So what you have to do is if you want to change the screen on Firefox, at least, hold it and then find the screen you want and then pick it and that will do it. Okay, so now as you can see, the screen is too big. So we can use our mouse roller, the middle mouse button, to roll back. And then we're still off the screen, so we can go ahead and use a right click to move it. So I'm doing, you know, roll out and right click to move it around. Very cool. All right, let's turn the grid back on. The next thing is the browse for reference image, which, you know, we're going to go ahead and load up an image. So this is a project that I have going on. This is the active sonar. I kind of have the interface. I just don't have the code for it. And I haven't drawn it yet. So we're going to go ahead and load this up. And look at that. There's a line again. And so now that we loaded it up, we can see that the grid is on top of it. Again, we can toggle the grid on and off. I like the grid on because you can see every little pixel and where it's placed. So that is a good feature. Okay. Now that we have our image loaded, we can go ahead and go through all of these lovely icons. And so the first one is the save icon. If you draw something on here and you're not finished, you can hit the save icon, you can name it, and it will save a text file. Okay, I'm not going to save it right now. And so later on, if you want to work on it, you can go ahead and hit this button, the open file, and then you would find that text file where you saved it, and you would load it, and then it would load it back up. All right, next we have, of course, undo and redo. So I can redo that box, undo that box. Very cool. We have, of course, the line tool. We have the erase tool. So let me put that line back, actually. And let's just click on this. There we go. It selects it and we delete it. We have the unfilled rectangle tool, of course. We have the filled rectangle tool. The triangle tool, where we can make our triangle. And then we have the, of course, field triangle tool, which is very cool. We have our circle, which, let's see, uh, I think I want to go in the center here and then pull it out. Now, usually you would drive yourself crazy saying oh my gosh i got it too far to the right but there is a tool down here where we can go ahead and click this move shape tool and we can just move it into place and that is a new feature and as you can see really helpful uh, of course we have the you know solid circle tool and then we have these two tools now at first i was like what are these for i'm kind of confused so if i have a circle here and a circle there and let's say I want to do it in a different color. Oh, this is another bug. Only in Firefox, I think. So if you pick a color, it does not work here uh, in Firefox. So yeah, I should probably use Chrome, but I'm not. So there is a bug in Firefox. It doesn't like it. So you have to pick a color here and then hit OK. So I suggest using Chrome. I don't know about uh, Microsoft if that works, but for sure Firefox has some bugs with the interface. So if we go ahead and do this, we can go ahead and hit paint. And now everything is painted red. Okay, let's go ahead and pick another color, green. Okay, and if we hit the, this little shape color tool, we can pick what we want to paint. Look at that. Okay, very cool. We have a text tool, text, and that will put text in. Of course, if we don't like the text here, we can move it, which is very cool. And then we have the paint dropper, which we can grab a color here. Let's see, we want this one. We've got the red. We want this one. We've got the green. Okay. Okay, super new feature in this version. Let's go ahead and move this circle here. 
and move this circle here, okay? Right now, the green one is on top of the red one, okay? But if we want to move these, I can go ahead and click this button here, the push shape back, or the push shape forward. So let's push this shape forward. And now you'll see that the red is on top, the green is on bottom, okay? So that is your tool if you want to push it back, push it back forward. Very cool, right? We can move it around, of course. And now it's right on top. So those are all the tools you have. But on the right, this is your code, and this is what you're gonna copy into Stormworks to draw your interfaces on your monitors. But there are some cool features here too. So we're gonna start by looking at what it's generating right now, okay? Right now it's writing out screen.setColor and then the RGB color, okay? And as you can see, it has a red box here. This is just to show you what color is being associated with this line. So if this line is red, then the drawing circle is going to be red. This line is green. Then the next thing that draws, which is this circle here, is going to be green. Okay, and so on and so on. And as you can see, we've got red, green, red, green. Okay, so that's kind of duplicated. So what is added, if we go into this right here, we can do color grouping. Click that, and you'll see it moves the circles that are red together. It moves the green, uh, I guess a circle and the text together. And now all the greens together. So if we go ahead and draw another box here, you see it adds it, it adds it, it adds it. Now if we do a red, or actually I should grab the exact red, shouldn't I? Okay, let's grab the exact red. And then let's do a circle here. A circle here, okay? And as you can see, all the colors are being placed together. I'm gonna do a blue one now, okay? And if we uncheck that box, You'll see now it's separated them back out. So the reason you want to do this is that you're going to use less code in your Lua, right? Because all the things are going to be grouped together. So when I do color grouping, everything's together. I can see all the red stuff. And when I copy this code, I just deleted like four different lines of different colors that are the same color, but they're just different code, if that makes any sense. Um, the next thing we have here is the color fix. Now, some people don't know about this, but I think it was Jedi, what was his name? Light Jedi, Jedi Master, Jedi, Jedi, Light Jedi. I don't remember his name. Something Jedi, XL Jedi? I don't know. But the color fix was something that he came up with because Stormworks monitors are not true to the colors that you pick because there's some kind of uh, luminance or a brightness that is applied. If you use the color fix, which is Mr. Lennon took XL Jedi, I think his name is XL Jedi, uh, his fix, and add it to the code. So watch right. I think you'll see it like right here. Maybe the red will change slightly. Oh, it looks like the blue change. The blue is changing. So you see that blue right here, right here. You'll see the color change, and that is to offset the color to make sure that this color appears exactly the same on the Lua Stormux monitors. Okay. Next thing we have is the compact. Okay. So right now we have screen set draw, screen draw, screen draw. And so what you can do in Stormworks is you can set a variable so that screen is placed one time and then it uses the variable to fill in the, you know, the screen part. So if we go over here, we do compact, you'll see that we set the variables. So, you know, SSS stands for screen. And then we have the different types of uh, circles and squares and all that stuff. And then down here, your code is now DCF. Uh, SC, etc. And that saves space in your Lua script. If you're, you know, drawing something complex, you want to save as much space as you can when you're drawing the, um, you know, your interface. Okay, next up, field shape fix. Now this has to do apparently with circles. So what you'll see is, okay, you see that bouncing around right there? Is when I do that, it adds a 0.5 on this, um, is this a circle or a rectangle? DRF. Uh, draw a rectangle. So what that does is it kind of offsets the squares so that they appear where they should be. I know it's kind of hard to understand or to describe in this, but sometimes when you use a drawing program that's outside of Stormworks, the place that things appear are off by a pixel or two, or they're not even or whatever the case may be. And so what this tries to do is it will try to offset by a 0.5 so that it's exactly where you expect it to be when you render the monitor. Okay, 
Good stuff. Look at me. I'm drawing everything here. Okay, next up we have the function mode. Now the idea of the function mode is to add just a bit of code here so that you can move things around by code later. So if we hit this, it adds shape 00 and a function shape XY. And then to everything that you have drawn here, we have an X and a Y added to each position. And the idea here is if you change your XY using the shape call, it will let you with code move elements around. So let's just get rid of all this mess here. So we have this shape right here. Okay. It's a blue circle. It has a shape applied zero, zero right now. We're not moving it at all, but if you wanted to encode, to go ahead and change the X or Y so you could move it X to the right or left, a minus plus, or a Y, uh, minus would be up, plus would be down. And so what you'll do is you'll change this shape into, you know, if you wanted to go to the right by five pixels, you would do five and that would move, let's do it manually. It would move it like, you know, over here. If you do the Y number here, it would move it down and I think this is new you'll see right here it shows how many pixels you're moving it down so that's kind of a new feature and if you're moving it left or right so you can use that to like place things exactly but the idea here is sorry not to confuse you is that you can move your shape around so once you've drawn this with code you could say you know if the sun is up move x y so that the sun becomes up here if this was an actual sun does that make sense I think so. I hope so. Anyways, the last and final feature, of course, is the copy paste. You click this, you would copy this to your clipboard, go into Stormworks, and you would paste it inside of a Lua block and, you know, hook your monitor up and then you'll have a beautiful UI. You'd have a beautiful UI. So everything you see in this latest update, we're kind of community driven. Uh, he basically took the community feedback, redid the entire interface and uh, added new features so very cool so if you have ideas please visit my discord he's in there on his own build channel and you can leave feedback on what you'd like to see so one feature that is missing that i was hoping that he could get in but it's a little bit complicated is layers so if you are for example drawing this interface you would kind of feel like oh you know what i want to okay this doesn't work <laughs> because i'm in firefox but i should be able to too go ahead and pick this background color. So let's just say the background color is, I don't know, orangey, okay? So if I wanted to draw this interface and I start with the background, I'd probably do something like this. Now I cannot see what I'm working on. So that's not good. So currently in this current version, there are no layers. So if I draw something, I kind of have to draw things in order from top to bottom or draw things and then, you know, copy and paste into Stormworks until I get my layers in the correct position. But what I would like to do, and Mr. Lennon knows this already, but I would like to go ahead and do something like this. I would like to go ahead and draw my background. Okay. And maybe have a toggle over here on the right, maybe right next to this color thing to hide this layer. So I would click here and it would just hide that color layer. And then I might go to the next thing. So the next thing, if that's a background, the next thing I would draw would be probably this giant um, black box. We'll make it blue. And I would draw, you know, my black box. I might move it into place. That's not exact, but that gives you an idea. And so now in the side, uh, you know, in my fantasy feature, I would have the blue box above this. I would have the orange box. And then I could, of course, you know, click on the blue box. And now that's hidden. And so I've done the background layer and I've done the blue circle layer. And then I would go ahead and draw these layers from bottom to top. So I would start with my background. I would do my grime. I would do my black circles. I would then do my text layers on top and so on and so on. And I would just be able to toggle off what I wanted to see in this right side. Now the alternate thing to do would be to make some kind of like Photoshop layer box over here, but I think it would be good enough just to have a toggle button next to colors. So I don't know. That's something that he would have to play with because there might be something I'm missing when I say that, like perhaps, you know, I use red 
or the background and then I use this red on top. So if I toggle that red off, it would make this disappear plus the background. So that would probably be a problem. Actually, how does that work? Now I'm confused. If this blue is on the bottom and this black is in the middle and this blue is on top, but he's doing a color grouping, how does that render this black one in the middle? I am curious about it. Let's open up Stormworks real quick. Okay, so that is a bug. Well, I don't know if it's a bug, but it is a bug if you're using the color grouping. So if you're using the color grouping, as you can see, the blue is on the bottom, the black is on top, the blue is on bottom. Even though in our other screen we have blue on bottom, black on top, blue on bottom. But if we go ahead and go back to this and we do color grouping, turn that off, copy and paste, go back in here and change our thing, our thing, our code to the ungrouped code. So now we should see that they're in order, right? Yes, so blue on bottom, black on top, blue on top. So in order for this to work, you do need the color grouping to be disabled. So I guess my idea does work <laughs> of using toggles on these if color grouping is off. A way to do this would be to add a new checkbox right here called uh, layers. And if you check that box, it unchecks the color grouping. So that would be unchecked, layers would be checked, and then you would have the ability on the right side here to toggle layers as you're working in this interface. So that's my idea, Mr. Lin, if you're watching. Uh, but yeah, so just remember if you do color grouping, you know, your colors will not remain um, on top and under each other when you go into Stormworks. So yeah, good to know. All right, so that's it for today. If you haven't done so already, hit the bell. So goes ding dong. Is that a ding dong? That's not really a ding dong. That's more of a zoom in, zoom out. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. And I'll see you next time. Links are in the description below to the tool. And I'll see you next time.